Good morning and welcome to lab class. It's Monday morning, or at least it is for you. Um, hi, this is the Monday video. I am going to be going through the daily schedule for all courses document. This is available on the tab called the lab where you have most of your generalized handouts. This video is intended and the videos that follow it are intended as supplements to the daily post on the announcements tab on the blog. Um, and in case you want to just listen, you prefer to hear your information, here it is. Make sure you do still check the daily blog because that has the most up-to-date things on it. But uh, yeah, let's go through that document. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, I have the document ready so that we can look at it together. And I will be going over the information for all of the courses. So uh, bear with me as we do that and make sure that you're paying attention to your own course. All right, this is what the document looks like. It is five pages. Um, you have two tables here. The first one is for week one, okay? Um, and then if you scroll down to page four, you'll see that we reached week two. So if you're in a two week course, there is two weeks worth of content and there will be a second Monday video for those classes. So that would be ITC, OSK, um, and Pearson, okay? All right, so what happens every day? As you know, because I'm sure you've already watched the welcome video, we have our attendance and announcements meeting every day at 8.30 where we can check in with each other and uh, chat about any questions you had. I can give you all your updates and kind of summarize the daily posts. Afterwards, you head out to your study groups. These are organized per course and the links are in the daily posts as well as on the calendar and the meetings tab of the site. We always have office hour, or usually we have office hour unless there's something else happening at that time. So for the last hour of class, I am available for drop-in so we can work on assignments or whatever you wanna do. Um, I am here for you. At the end of each class, I ask that you send me a progress email, more details on that in the welcome video and in the FAQ post about progress emails. All right. First course we have here is Student Success Strategies. So this is a one week course and um, it's pretty uh, pretty simple, it's pass fail course. So um, on day one, all I'm expecting of you is that you have access to all your accounts. So eCampus, Office, Teams, which is part of Office, um, and that you access your Enriched Academy Money Myths module via eCampus. There is a video demo showing you how to do that on your course page. That's all I need you to do today. Access everything um, and have a look at the material. Tomorrow I will assign you citation materials um, so you can get a look at those if you are quick today. But I do suggest getting your Enriched Academy Money Myths module underway. The next course we have is Career and Employment Strategies. This is also a one-week course um, and it's pass-fail. So I have things that you need to send me every day in order to pass the course. So for today, you have an assignment called the Master Ad. This is a fairly simple assignment. What I want you to do is head to Google and have a look for job ads for whatever you're gonna do when you graduate, okay? So pharmacy or... Um, preschools, daycares, uh, law offices, medical offices, whatever you're going to do, look for job ads. And then I want you to make a Word document, just copying and pasting the interesting and repeated parts of those ads into a Word document. The demo and instructions for this are in the Dropbox that is linked on your course page. So you can head there, check out the demo and example, and let me know if you have any questions. If you're working in um, a class and you have other people in your program with you, you guys can do this as a collaborative activity. Um, we're going to use the master ads when we edit later in the week as a criteria list for all the things that employers are looking for. Um, so you can make it as complete as you like. Um, it doesn't need to be formal and it's pretty much the only time I'm ever going to encourage you to copy and paste. Okay. Um, oh, and email that to me, please, uh, at the end of class, and I will put them into the Dropbox. You don't need to put anything in the Dropbox yourself. 
A quick reminder for CES that because you'll be sharing your work with your classmates, not to include any info on there that you're not comfortable sharing with your class. Um, so you want to put in placeholders for phone numbers or addresses, go right ahead. All right. The next course we have going is Introduction to Computers. This is a two week course. Um, today, what I want you to do is prioritize watching the Welcome to ITC video. Um, and that one goes over the course in detail, it goes through your course outline, shows you where your uh, resources are. And the second thing I need you to do is download the daily resource schedule specific for ITC. So this is on the uh, page for ITC on your course page. You can also find a blog post version of this schedule on the blog. If you go to announcements and click ITC, you will find um, a copy there and uh, that one has links in it so you can go to the resources directly. Um, and that's it. That's what I am asking you to do today. There's a couple items on listed on Monday on your daily schedule for ITC. Um, including the welcome video. Um, so please have a look at those and uh, get started. There's a couple of videos for you to watch. Next course is office skills. Okay, same as ITC, the main thing I want you to do today is get that daily resource schedule that's specific for your course. On there, I am listing uh, which videos, which articles, which chapters of the textbook to look at every day in order to complete the course on time. Um, you can, of course, be a little flexible with this, uh, but the daily schedule will give you a good overview of what is assigned and expected at each point in the course. Tomorrow, we'll have a meeting to go over alphabetical filing rules, which is in chapter 11, um, which is information management. Uh, we'll be jumping ahead to that because it's a big part of your exam, a practical part of the exam where you have to fill in a form. Um, so I'm going to go through the rules well on that with you tomorrow, Tuesday. Okay, next we have customer relations and interpersonal strategies or B1075R. Um, this is also a one week course. So today you are accessing your daily resource schedule. This is a blog post. So go to announcements and then click on B1075R from the little tags and you'll see the post there. Um, I've listed out what I want you to be doing each day. The main thing that you'll want to get started on is your response journal. So while you're watching the videos that I've gathered for you, um, you want to take notes, any thoughts you have, uh, because you will be sending me five response journal entries. Um, you can do one each day. You can do several at once. I don't mind, um, but please do have a look at my example of a response journal that uh, you can download from your course page and from the blog tag for B1075R. All right, Pearson courses. So if you are in Word, PowerPoint, or Excel, you're in a Pearson course. The first thing you need to do is access Pearson via eCampus. I have a video showing you how to do this. It's on the lab site. So on the green website, you're gonna click lectures, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then there are two videos there. One is on Welcome to Pearson. This one shows you how to access the site um, and navigate within the program. And then there's a second one showing you how to check your marks in Pearson. Please watch both of them, even though you haven't done anything to check your marks with yet. Please watch both. It gives you a good overview of how the Pearson software works. Um, yes. Second thing I need you to do in Pearson is ensure that you have access to the downloaded desktop versions of Windows. Uh, so that's uh, the Windows Office suite. So Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Um, those three, you need to make sure you have access to the desktop version of whichever program you're studying for the next two weeks. You will not be able to do uh, most of the activities if you haven't done that. Um, Yes, the other thing I wanted to mention for Pearson, if you're getting started, if you're in Word, you want to start at module two, because the first module is a connector module to PowerPoint and Windows 10. Um, I'm not marking you on that, so you can skip right to module two. For uh, PowerPoint and Excel, you're going to start at module one, go all the way through. Um, 
Yeah. I would also like you, if you're in Pearson and you've not been in a Pearson course before, there's a tag on the blog labeled Pearson. Please have a click on there and have a little look through. There's some important info about turning on your pop-ups. That's essential in order to complete the simulations, as well as a glossary, which goes over all the terminology, such as modules, chapters, graders, uh, simulations, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so please do look through that today and acclimatize yourself to Pearson before you really dive into uh, the activities. Um, of course, if you've already taken a Pearson course and this is just a new Pearson course for you, go for it. <laughs> you can just jump right in and get started. It's gonna be laid out the same way, just different content because you're on a new program. Finally, last but not least, keyboarding. Um, a couple quick things for keyboarding. So if you're at home, which most of us are, then you are gonna be using Typing Club as your primary activities and practice for keyboarding. So Typing Club, I have a video and a link on your course page on how to access Typing Club, how to sign in. I've made you an account with your personal email, whatever personal email is attached to your attendance record, and the password should be left blank. So don't write anything in there at all, completely blank. Um, and just press enter and it should let you write in. If you have any problems, please let me know right away so I can make sure that I've set up your account properly. You're gonna be playing in Typing Club for the rest of the week. So in order to set yourself up, make sure that you take the placement exam. Again, there's a little video showing you how to do this. So take the placement exam. It's a circle with a check in it. Click on that on the side. You just type, 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 type until you start to make mistakes and struggle and slow down. And then the system will recognize that and it will drop you in at lessons that will actually challenge you and improve your typing instead of dropping you at the beginning, um, which isn't helpful if you have already been typing for a while. If you have access to a Windows computer um, or a computer on campus, ideally, then you can use Paradigm, which is the original program that we used for typing on campus. Um, this comes with a textbook, a physical textbook that has codes in it for you to sign in. So if you are gonna use Paradigm, you do need to collect that textbook from campus. Um, just contact Front Desk first. I have all their information on the contact page of my site. So click Lab and then Contact. Um, but for most of you, you'll just be using Typing Club. For now, I just want you to practice. I just want you to do the activities, play some games. I've got some links on your course page for other games. Um, and make sure you take breaks so you don't wear out your hands and wrists. Um, and that's it. That's all you're going to be doing for the first several days is just playing these games and practicing. Let me know today in your progress email uh, what kind of speeds and accuracy scores you're getting so that we can see how much you improve um, in the week. Okay, and that is week one Monday. I'm not going to go over week two. I'm going to do a different video for that. So I hope this was helpful. Um, that's week one Monday, and I'll see you again for the Tuesday video, etc. Um, okay, have a good class. See you soon.